Hallelujah to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah to your name, O oh God. Oh, glory to your name, Father God. Glory to your name, Father God. We worship you today and we magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord, and we honor you today, O oh God. You're worthy, O oh God, of all the honor and praise. You're worthy, O oh God, of all the glory. We thank you and praise you for being our everything, O oh God. We bless your holy name and we thank you, O oh God. We lift you up today, O oh God, and we exalt you, Father God, because you're worthy. You're worthy of all the honor. You're worthy of all the glory, God. You're worthy of all the praise, O oh God. We we thank you, Father God, for this day. We worship you, Father God, for this opportunity to come together, Lord God. We worship you for this opportunity to come together and lift up your name, Father God. Glory to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. O oh God, if we had 10,000 tongues in 10,000 years, O oh God, it wouldn't even begin to be enough to thank you for all that you continue to do. It wouldn't even be enough to, to begin to thank you for all that you are in our lives, O oh God. Oh, we bless you, O oh God, and we exalt you. We thank you, O oh God. And we praise you, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We lift your name on high, O oh God. We lift your name on high. We glorify you, Father God. Hallelujah, Jesus. O oh God, you're great and you're greatly to be praised, O oh God. All glory and honor are due your name, Father God. All glory and honor are due your name, Father God. We lift you up and we thank you for this day, O oh God. We know that this day is a gift that you've given us, Lord God. We realize that it's a gift today, O oh God. We thank you for the present that is today, O oh God. And we lift up your name in the present, Lord God. We seek your face early while you may be found, O oh, oh God. We seek your face early while you may be found, seeking direction and instruction from you, O oh God. Seeking guidance and insight from you, O oh God. Seeking wisdom, Lord God, from you, Father God. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for being our everything. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for being our very present help in the time of trouble. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for being our peace and for being being our joy and for being our hope, O oh God. We thank you and praise you, God, for being our strength, O oh God, and for being our guide, O oh God, for being our protector and for being our instructor, Lord, for being our corrector, Lord God, and for being our peace, O oh God. We thank you for being our healer and for being our way maker, O oh God. We thank you for being our everything, Father God. We worship you for being everything and so much more in and to us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. O oh God, we ask you to move by your spirit in our lives today. We ask you to forgive us, Father. Father God, for our sins, O oh God. Father, we ask you to have mercy that our prayers might not be hindered this morning, O oh God. We ask you to move by your spirit today, Father God, because today, Lord God, the enemy is seeking to run roughshod in the earth, O oh God. Father, we come before you this morning with hearts that are heavy, O oh God. We come before you this morning, Lord God, with spirits that are perplexed, O oh God. We come before you this morning, O oh God, with a plea, Lord God, an urgent plea, Lord God, that you'd hear an answer in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of homicide in the name of Jesus that's running rampant in the earth today, O oh God. We bind the hand of the enemy now in the name of Jesus. Father God, teach us as your church how to stand boldly, O oh God. Teach us as your church, Lord God, how to cry loud and spare not, Father God. Teach us as your church, Lord God, how to go forth and do the work of ministry, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you and thank you for doing it, O oh God. We lift you up, O oh God, and ask you to have your way, Father God. Minister to the hearts of, minister to the hearts of those, Lord, God, that have experienced unnecessary violence, oh God. Minister to the hearts of those, Lord God, that are hurting today because they've lost loved ones, oh God. Minister to the hearts of those, Lord God, that are struggling to understand why, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We bind the hand of the enemy right now in Jesus' name. Father God, we dispatch your angels to go forth and minister, Lord God. Go forth and heal, oh God. Go forth and, Lord God, uh, uh, guide and direct, Father God. Go forth and comfort, Lord God. Give us, Father God, a renewed boldness, Lord God. Give us a renewed sense of urgency to go forth and proclaim the good news, O oh God. Give us a resolved sense of urgency, Lord God, to go forth and share the gospel, Father God. Stir up every gift that you placed in us, Lord God. Every gift that you placed in the body, O oh God. Stir them up right now in the name of Jesus. Use them for your glory, O oh God. Father God, use us, use us for your glory, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Use us like never before, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Have your way in us, Lord God. Have your way in our lives, O oh God. Order our steps in your word, O oh God. Guide us with your eye, Lord God, that no iniquity would have dominion over us, Lord God. Guide us with your eye, O oh God, that you'd be pleased with our living, Father God. Guide us with your 
by, Lord God, that you be pleased with our activity, O oh God. Use us, Lord God, mightily today, God, to make a difference in the earth, O oh God, to make a supernatural impact in the earth, O oh God. We pray, Lord God, for those families that are hurting, O oh God. We pray, Lord God, for those families that are struggling, O oh God. We pray, Lord God, for those families that are burying loved ones, O oh God. We pray, Father God, that for those that are seeking to understand why, Lord God, we ask you to comfort, Father God. We send your peace, O oh God, your peace that passes all understanding, O oh God. Let that peace keep every heart, Lord God. Let that peace keep every mind, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. We pray for the Cross family this morning, O oh God, that you'd comfort them and heal them, Lord God. You strengthen them right now, Lord God. You build them up, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. You do it for your glory, O oh God, in Jesus' name. We pray for the family of, of, of the mother and daughter that were lost, O oh God. Father, you strengthen them and guide that family in the name of Jesus. Give them the answers, Lord God, to the questions that they have. Help them to understand that, Lord God, even in this, Lord God, you're still good, O oh God. Father God, you give us hope today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, teach us how to walk in hope, Lord God. Give us the resolve to worship you, Lord God, even in the seemingly the silence, Lord God, that we work in, Lord God, even in the silence that we seemingly live in, O oh God. Give us the resolve to continue to not weary in well-doing, O oh God. Give us the resolve to continue to lift up your name, O oh God. Give us the resolve to continue to do the work that you've given us, O oh God. Father God, give us the resolve to be, Lord God, the salt and light that you've called us to be in the earth today, O oh God. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to be the very present help in the time of trouble that you've mandated us to be, O oh God. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to be everything that you created us to be, God, in the name of Jesus. Teach us as your ecclesia, Lord God, how to let our light so shine before men and women that they see you, O oh God, and give you glory, God, in the name of Jesus. Teach us, Lord God, how to how to uh, visit the sick, O oh God. Teach us, Lord God, how to care for the widows and the orphans, O oh God. Teach us, God, how to be giving and loving, Lord God. Most importantly, teach us how to be more like you, O oh God. Let us be bold, Lord God, in going forth and leveraging your name in the, in the name of Jesus. Let us be bold to go forth, Lord God, and declare wellness, Lord God, in the midst of sickness, O oh God, and to declare healing, Lord God, in the midst of hurting, O oh God, to declare peace, Lord God, in the time of turmoil, O oh God, to speak life, Lord God, when the enemy would seek to speak death, O oh God. Give us a resolve, Lord God, to walk in the fullness of the anointing and power that you've given us, Lord God. Give us a resolve, Lord God, to leverage your name, O oh God, and to use the influence that you've given us by the name of Jesus to be all that you call us to be, O oh God, to be change agents in the earth, O oh God. God, that's what you call us to be, Lord God, in this hour. That's what you call us to do in this hour, Lord God. As living witnesses of you, O oh God, we seek to walk as change agents of the earth, O oh God. As living witnesses of you, O oh God, we seek to walk as change agents in our community, O oh God. And living, as living witnesses of you, O oh God, we seek to walk as change agents in our workplaces, O oh God. As living witnesses of you, O oh God, we seek to walk as change agents in our home, Lord God, and change agents in our communities, O oh God. Father God, as living witnesses of you, we seek to be change agents everywhere we go, Lord God, that because we know you, Lord God, we'll lift up your name. Because we know you, O oh God, we'll be used by you. Because we know you, O oh God, we believe and expect signs, wonders, and miracles, Lord God, to follow because we believe, O oh God. So, Father, have your way in our lives, O oh God. Have your way in our living, O oh God. Use us for your glory today, O oh God. Give us a good sense, Lord God, to leverage your name in every situation. Give us a good sense, Lord God, to leverage your name that we might, we might walk in the favor and the advantage that you promised to us as believers, O oh God. Give us a good sense, Lord God, to leverage your name that you be pleased, Lord God, in every facet of our lives, O oh God. That you be pleased, Lord God, in every facet and aspect of our living, O oh God. Give us the good sense to leverage, Lord God, your name, Father God, that healing would manifest in our lives, O oh God. Give us a good sense to leverage your name, Lord God, that deliverance would take place, Lord God, in our lives in the name of Jesus. Give us a good sense to leverage your name, Lord God, that victory would be ours, Lord God, in everything in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Renew our minds, Lord God. Renew our minds and set them on walking in victory. Set them on walking in increase. Set them on walking in boldness, O oh God. Set them in walking on in breakthrough, Lord God. Set them in walking, Father God, in close proximity to you, Lord God. Set them, Lord God, in walking in such a way so that we speak the word in the name of Jesus and things will come to pass, O oh God. Let us not be hearers of your word only, O oh God, but teach each and every one of us how to be doers of the same in the name of Jesus. I bind up laziness now in the name of Jesus. I bind up indifference now in the name of Jesus. I bind up lukewarm spirits now in the name of Jesus. And I lose a red-hot desire, Lord God, to live for you, O oh God. I, I lose 
lose a red heart desire, Lord God, to cry loud and spare not. I lose a red heart desire, Lord God, to be all that you called us to be, God, in the name of Jesus. I lose a red heart desire, Lord God, for your will to be done in our lives, O God. I lose a red heart desire, Lord God, for us to desire more of you, O God, for us to desire to be more like you, O God, for us to walk in the fullness of the leverage that we have, O God. Give us a mind to do it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Give us a mind to stop delaying and procrastinating, God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, do it in each and every one of our lives, O God. Do it in each and every one of our lives that we might make a difference, O God, that we might make an impact, O God, that you'd use us, Lord God, to save a life, O God, that you'd use us, Lord God, to save a soul, Father God, that you'd use us, Lord God, to make a change in someone's life, Lord, that you'd use us, Lord God, to reconcile a family, Lord God, that you'd use us, Lord God, to usher in healing, Father God. O God, you do it and move by your spirit, O God. Be with us as we travel the highways and hedges today, O God. Be with us as we go to work, Lord God. Be with us as we go into making homes, Lord God. Be with us as we go about the daily to day to day function of living, Lord God, this day and this week, O God. That you be glorified, O God. That you that you be lifted up, O God. That you be magnified, O God. That you be, Lord God, revered, Lord God, because you are God and God alone. Father God, give us the resolve to be all that you called us to be, O God. Give us the resolve to stand boldly for you, O God. Give us the resolve to cry loud and spare not, Lord God. Father, we meet you early in this, this morning, Lord God, to ask you to have your way in our lives. We meet you early this morning, Lord God, to ask you to move by your spirit through us, O God. We meet early this morning, Lord God, to ask you, Lord God, to do a new thing in us, O God. Do a new thing in us, Lord God, that you'd use us to do a new thing in the earth, O God. You desire that we all have futures and we all have hopes, Lord God. Father God, we thank you and praise you for reactivating those, those hopes, Lord God, for reactivating those dreams, Lord God, for helping us to see clearly, Lord God, our future in you, O oh God, for giving us, Lord God, renewed hope, Lord God, that we'd have renewed resolve, Lord God, to stand for you, renewed resolve to worship you, O oh God, renewed resolve to lift up your name in the name of Jesus. We come against discouragement now in the name of Jesus. We bind it up and send it back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Father God, give us the resolve to encourage ourselves, Lord God. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to be encouraging in every situation, in every circumstance, Lord God. Give us, Lord God, the resolve to encourage as you encourage, Lord God. Give us resolve to be the light that you call us to be, Father God. As you let that light shine in us, Lord God, we'll let it shine in the lives of others, God, that you'd be glorified, Lord God, and that you'd save, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. O oh God, give us, Lord God, the resolve to continue to stand for you. Give us the resolve, Lord God, to put our trust and hope in you, Lord God, and not our confidence in man, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We know that man fails us every time, O oh God, but you never fail, O oh God. Your love never fails us, O oh God. Your grace never fails us, O oh God. Your power never fails, O oh God. There's nothing, Lord God, greater than you in the earth, O oh God. So, Father God, we cast every care upon you this morning because you care for us, O oh God. We cast every care upon you, Lord God, that keeps us up at night, O oh God. We cast every care on you, Lord God, that seeks to have us walk in fear and in doubt. We cast every care upon you, Lord God, that seeks to have us lukewarm, O oh God. We cast every care on you, Lord God, that seeks to have us, Lord God, not walk in the fullness of what you have for us, Lord God. And we embrace your anointing, O God. We embrace your will for our lives, O God. We embrace everything that you have for us, Lord God. We embrace victory, O God, because we are victorious, O God. We embrace victory, O God, because we are more than conquerors through you that love us, O God. We embrace victory, Lord God, because we know that you desire us, Lord God, to obtain wealth, O God. Father, you give us the resolve to position our ourselves to be where you desire us to be, Lord God, as you continue to transfer, O oh God. Position us where you desire us be, to be, Lord God, that wealth and riches might be in our houses, Lord God. Position us where you desire us to be, Lord God, that opportunities to minister and to make a difference would be in our midst, O oh God. Position us where you desire us to be, Lord God, so that you'd use us, Lord God, to bring forth deliverance and breakthrough, O oh God. Position us, Lord God, where you desire us to be, Lord God, so that we give you the glory, Lord God, and seek to be vessels of honor used by you, O God. Position us where you desire us to be, Lord God, that every good and perfect gift that you have for us, Lord God. You'd bless us to receive it in the name of Jesus. You'd bless us, Lord God, to use it for your glory in the name of Jesus. You'd bless us, Lord God, to be a blessing to others in the name of Jesus. Father, let us not waste another second, Lord God. Let us not waste another instant, Lord God. Forgive us for where we've been slowful, O God. Forgive us for where we've been indifferent, Lord God. Father God, the time is now, Lord God. The time is now for us to be used by you. The time is now for us to go forth, O God. The time is now for us 
us to cry loud and stand not, O oh God. Let us, Lord God, as a ministry, do it, O oh God. Let us, Lord God, be living witnesses of the same, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let us be living witnesses of your power and your might, O oh God. Let us be living witnesses of your urgency, Lord God, and your desire, Lord God. Let us be witnesses of living witnesses of your love and, and your joy and your peace, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray for every member of this body, O oh God. I pray for every partner of this body, O oh God, that you'd use us for your glory today. Father, we present ourselves to you this morning, O oh God. We present ourselves to you, O oh God, as in the name of Jesus. We rend our, our, our not we rend our hearts and our garments to you, O oh God, that you'd have your way in us, Lord God. We we expose both to you, O oh God, that you come in and do that new thing in us that we desire, O oh God. We ask you to come in, Lord God. We ask you to teach us, Lord God. We ask you to guide us and direct us, O oh God. We ask you to heal us, Lord God, and restore us, O oh God. We ask you to make us whole, Lord God. We ask you to make us new, O oh God. We ask you to make us better, Lord God. We ask you to make us stronger and wiser, Lord God. We ask you to make us more like you, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray all of you this morning in our lives, O oh God. We pray all of you, Lord God. We pray none of us and all of you today, O oh God. Have your way in us today, O oh God. Use us today for your glory, O oh God. Move, in your, move by your spirit in our lives today, O oh God. Father God, we thank you for taking your church all over the world, O oh God, and giving us, Lord God, renewed marching orders, Lord God, a renewed fervor to fulfill the marching orders that you've given us, Lord God, a renewed resolve, Lord God, to be your hands and your feet in the earth, O oh God, to be your eyes and ears and voice in the earth, O oh God, to be, Lord God, your advocate in the earth, O oh God, to be your ambassador for Christ in the earth, O oh God. Father God, we thank you for giving us the boldness, Lord God, to speak the language that you've given us, O oh God. We thank you for giving us the boldness, Lord God, to go forth and be like you today in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the gift that is today, O oh God, and we ask you, Lord God, to use it today that we might not squander that gift, but instead that you might use that gift, O oh God, to make a difference in the lives of others, O oh God. Father God, we ask you to minister to our households, O oh God. We ask you, Lord God, to provide every need for us, Lord God. We ask you to move by your spirit in our lives, Lord God, and bless. We ask you, Lord God, to heal those that are sick today. We ask you, Lord God, to deliver those that are bound today. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for giving us renewed joy, for giving us renewed hope, for giving us renewed strength, O oh God, in you. We thank you and praise you, Lord God, for doing it for your glory, O oh God. We worship and magnify your name, Father God, for hearing and answering our prayer this morning, O oh God. We pray that you continue to move by your spirit today, O oh God. We pray that you continue to have your way in us, O oh God. We pray that you continue to be our very present help, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for meeting us, Lord God, this morning. We thank you, Father God, for having your way, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for using us today for your glory, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for hearing and answering our prayers this morning, Lord God. And as we give, Lord God, our lives to you and we commit, Lord God, our, our works to you, O oh God, we thank you for your way being established in our lives, O oh God. We thank you for victory, O oh God. We thank you for your signs and wonders and miracles that follow us, Lord God, because we believe and we leverage your name, O oh God. We thank you for doors being open that no man can shut, Lord God, because we leverage your name, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for increase and breakthrough, Lord, because we leverage your name, O oh God. We thank you for doing it all for your glory, Lord God. We lift it up. We lift it all up to you, O God. We thank you, Lord God, for hearing and answering our prayers. And by faith, Lord God, we declare and decree it all done this morning, O God. We praise you for it all, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, God. We say amen. Glory, God. Glory to your name, O God. Our verse for today, Lord. So our verse for today is, is found in Psalms, the 56th chapter, verses 3 and 4, and reads as follows. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise, in God I trust and I'm not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? My hope and my prayer this week is that we seek to emulate God in every way. And we're not weary in well-doing, but instead we allow the boldness that God has given us through Jesus Christ to reign supreme in our lives and to make a supernatural impact so that we might be the blessings that God has called us to be in these last and evil days. And that means he might use us to do the miraculous as he saves souls and saves lives in every situation. Have a wonderful, wonderful blessed week. God bless. Living Witness Ministries is a church on the move dedicated to sharing the good news of Jesus Christ through the preached and taught word, community activism and outreach, and practical ministry designed to meet needs, bless hearts, save souls, and change lives. 
you can sow into the ministry via our cash app at dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. That's dollar sign LW Ministries 2020. Sow your seed into the good works and good ground of Living Witness Ministries today. And thank you for helping us reach the world with the life giving way. We pray that you were blessed by today's broadcast and would love to hear from you. If you have any prayer requests, praise reports, or would like to learn more about Living Witness Ministries, you can contact us by email at livingtowitness at gmail.com. That's the word living, the number two, witness at gmail.com or by phone at area code 404-955-8846. Again, that's area code 404-955-8846. Until next time, we encourage you to continue to live your life as a living witness.